Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also gonna have a look into the CME chart and into the Bitcoin dominance. Alright, so let's start here in the one hour time frame because as you can see Bitcoin currently is consolidating here between 22 and 23 thousand dollar and in my opinion we will see here a breakout incoming pretty soon potentially even during the weekend and in that case the target here to the upside could be even above 25 thousand dollar because if we measure here this uh, pump that we had over here and we would pull it out here towards the possible breakout you can see that we would come very close to thirty thousand dollar our potential next target here in case of continuation here to the upside the only problem is that we still have this resistance up here at twenty five thousand dollar so even if we will see here a breakout to the upside watch out here for this twenty five thousand dollar because this is the trend line that we also had here in the past which acted as a resistance and it could again act as a resistance if we see here continuation to the upside so if you are taking here a long position when you see the breakout or maybe even if we see a breakout and then confirm the new support then make sure to put a stop loss as soon as in profits because maybe here we are getting some resistance at 25 thousand dollar only if we're really able to push higher i think it is very likely that we will see twenty seven thousand dollar potentially even thirty thousand incoming pretty soon and that of course could be a local top before a major correction so let's see what will happen here in the next couple of hours and the thing is that if we're gonna have a breakout to the downside so if we're gonna lose here this twenty two thousand dollar area if at least we're gonna have a one hour close or even better a four hour close below this price level then we could be in a massive correction at least towards 20k to retest the old resistance which now should be new support and if we are not able to hold this 20k we could be in here for a much bigger correction at least towards 17 to 14 thousand dollar but now let's go over into the four hour time frame because here you can clearly see that currently the 20 moving average is right here at our support of around 22 thousand dollar and that's why i think it is very likely that we're gonna see here breakout to the upside if the 20 moving average is holding as a support so in theory if we're gonna continue here to the upside the 20 moving average in the four hours should hold as a support if this moving average is getting broken we will see for sure here a possible retest of this 200 moving average in the four hour which currently is at around nineteen thousand dollar but the more time passes the higher this moving average is coming so most likely it's gonna be at around 20 if here we're gonna have a possible breakout you can also see that the RSI currently is cooling down here which of course is quite bullish but we are still in overbought condition and after we got a sell signal here in the four hour after being completely overbought you can see that we started this retracement here and also here in the Bollinger Bands you can see that we retraced right here to the 9 moving average and the 20 is coming now very close to the 9 moving average. So usually when we see a cross here this indicates always a big dump potentially here towards 20k. So it is very likely that we're gonna see 20k incoming next before maybe we're gearing up to higher levels and there of course we're gonna have to see if 20k is gonna hold or not because if not we're gonna definitely go way way lower and in the four hour you can also see that currently stochastic is oversold so in theory we should see a big bounce now to the upside but if we will not see that bounce right now then there is a very high danger that we could see here possible fall here towards this 20k also because we have MACD and KST which are looking a bit bearish so here we had a bearish cross and this could indicate that we will see a possible week to the downside here towards 20k and I'm saying week because I don't think that during the week and the price action will be so relevant since we closed the CMEs at $22,950. So wherever the price is going during the weekend most likely on Monday we're gonna retrace back to this level and if not we're gonna create new CME gaps like we also did here in the past. Even this one down to 17,000 is still opened and also this one over here at 18,000 is also still open. So we have several future gaps now below of us. 
and if you believe in CME gaps you know that sooner or later they will get filled so there is still a very high chance that we could see very soon a local top and then a massive correction which will also cover all of these CME gaps that we created in the last couple of days and weeks. So keep this level here in mind 22,950 because this is the price level where we closed the CMEs on Friday. So during the weekend the CMEs are not trading and that's why usually on the weekend we always see very often this pump and dump scenario where we see first a big breakout to the upside and then the price retraces more or less where the CMEs closed on Friday. So the four hour time frame suggests that we're gonna see continuation here to the upside but as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close below the 20 moving average currently at $22,200 then watch out for a possible correction down towards 20k and there we're gonna see if we're able to bounce from 20k this is a perfect buy area and also good to open up a long position over on Bybit or Femex if you trade with leverage because if 20k is the confirmed new support then we're gonna see here continuation to the upside potentially to our next possible local top at around $30,000 before maybe we're gonna see a massive correction only if 20k will not hold if we're gonna test this price level then I think we're gonna see first a bigger correction and then a big pump again towards $30,000 dollar and now let's switch over into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are far away from all the moving averages and usually these moving averages always act as a magnet so it is very likely that we could see the bitcoin price coming down again to test the nine daily moving average right at 20k the 20 daily moving average is also very close so i think it is very likely that we will come down here to test this 20k area and also confirm it as a support since these important moving averages are also here and here you can also see the 200 daily moving average which currently is at 12,440 so the Bitcoin price could fall even towards this moving average here and still remain on its bullish uptrend so even if we would fall towards this price Bitcoin would still look very bullish so even a 50% drop wouldn't change anything on this bullish chart so that's why my friends I'm telling you if we are having any kind of massive correction try to accumulate even more Bitcoin and try to scale in some nice long positions even with the low leverage here on Bybit and Femex to stay safe because in the next couple of months and years you will do massive gains like that. And now we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently we are still overshooting into the upside of course this is what we're gonna see always during an uptrend but sooner or later we will come down here back into the Bollinger Band and test here the middle line between 20,500 and 19,700 at the moment. We have stochastic also very overbought so here I think a retracement back down to test this 20k area is very very likely. So even though we could come down here to test this important new support we could still see $30,000 incoming and next. Because also if we have a look into the MACD and KSD, they had a bullish cross and we should expect big continuation here to the upside. So only if 20k will fail as a support, then I think we could see a massive correction at least towards 70 to 14 thousand dollar. But if we come down here first to 20k, confirm it as a support and then have a big bounce to the upside, we potentially are going to take out also this high over here at 24,000 and head towards 30 thousand dollar. So every Everything is going to depend on how the Bitcoin price will react once we're coming down to test this 20k area. And if we go over into the weekly time frame, you can see that currently we could close a very bullish weekly candle like we did also on the CMEs. You can see the weekly close on the CME is very bullish and we should expect here big continuations to the upside. Here in the spot market we will close this candle only by Sunday so most likely we're also gonna close here this weekly candle at around 22 to 23 thousand dollar but if we have a look here into the RSI and also into my own indicator you can see that currently we're still very exhausted and still very overbought. Of course Bitcoin can stay in this area up here for a very long time but imagine what will happen if we start to correct down to 20k and potentially even go lower. We have currently everyone sitting in profits and if some buyers especially in this region up here are starting to panic sell or maybe also other buyers starting to take profits we could see a possible waterfall down towards the 9 
weekly moving average here at 17,400, potentially even lower towards the 20 weekly right here at $14,000. So even though Bitcoin is in a confirmed bull run and we will see potentially $30,000 incoming pretty soon, there is still a high risk that we could see such a possible correction to the downside, especially if the people are taking some profits up here or some new buyers are starting to panic sell. Because right now everyone is sitting in profits. There are almost no losers out there at the moment. So imagine what will happen if we're gonna see a big red candle here. A lot of people will start to panic sell. We always have seen this also during bull runs and I don't think that this time is gonna be different. The important thing is that everyone in this YouTube channel is not starting to panic sell. It is okay to take some profits on the way up if you think that you can buy later a bit cheaper or you need to do something with that money but never go and panic sell if you see the price crashing because this is always a very good buy opportunity and long opportunity if you see the price coming down to important moving averages here such the nine weekly or 20 weekly moving average in the weekly time frame so this is a very important price level to keep in mind here we also gonna update these moving averages on monday because then they will be a bit higher since every week that we're gonna stay above these moving averages they of course also moves higher and higher and now we're gonna have a look also into the bollinger bands in the weekly because here also you can see that we are still closing these weekly candles above the Bollinger Bands. We also have KST, MACD all shifted to the upside. This is of course very bullish and this is also what we are going to see during the whole bull run. The problem is only that we are quite exhausted also if you have a look here into the stochastic and that's why you should be at least prepared for the bearish scenario that we will sooner or later come down to test these important moving averages right here in the middle of the Bollinger Band between 17,000 dollar and fourteen thousand dollar at the time of recording so even though we are in a bull run and even though we will see potentially thirty thousand dollar incoming pretty soon be always aware that we could see at any time a correction down to these price levels confirm it again as a support and then have another big bounce to the upside we have seen this many times already during this bull run that we had since march and also in the past in 2013 and 2017 so I just want to warn you right now that that scenario can happen at any time. But of course, the Bitcoin is looking very bullish and we will see big continuations here to the upside. And the next target, of course, is $30,000. So let's see what we're going to hit first. A bigger correction towards these two price levels or the next potential target towards $30,000. Because if we zoom out, as I told you, my friends, we're going to have a 1.618 FIB level right at $30,000 based on the move that we had here from the all-time high and all-time low back in 2017 and 2018. So 30,000 is a very realistic price level if we're gonna break out from this pattern that we have seen in the lower time frames and also gonna go above $25,000. So let's see what will come first. Just be ready for all scenarios, my friends, and you should be doing fine. And now let's have a look also into the Bitcoin dominance because as expected so far we are getting rejected here in this area here of around 67%. So I'm expecting here a potential little correction again towards the 200 daily moving average or maybe even lower towards here the 60% because currently we are having a support along this 60% trend line here. So as long as we are moving between these two support and resistance lines I'm expecting here a possible little ultra Bitcoin season incoming here if we're gonna fall again in the Bitcoin dominance towards the 60% so I think some altcoins could really pump nicely so if you have still some altcoins that you want to convert into Bitcoin then maybe wait a little bit more because I think that here very soon the altcoins could see a massive pump incoming if here we're gonna fall again towards 60% only if Bitcoin would go again above 67%. So if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside from this resistance, then we could be heading again towards this 70 to 75% level. And that of course would mean that we will see a lot of money from altcoins floating back into Bitcoin. And that of course is always not good for altcoin hodlers because in that case you would see Bitcoin perform way better than altcoins. Even if some altcoins would gain in US dollars 
dollar value but they would lose against the bitcoin pair and that would mean that you would have opportunity costs if you're not sitting in bitcoin so if you would hodling only altcoins then you would lose a lot of money because all the performance that bitcoin would do you would not see that in the altcoin space and that's why in that case it is always good to stay into bitcoin but as it is at the moment it looks like that we could see here a rejection in this area and a possible little altcoin pump incoming so let's see here what will happen in the next couple of days and hours and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now now, if you want to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, the best exchanges are Bybit and Femix. If you use my links down below here, you will get some bonus. And if you don't want to trade at your own, but you want to try to multiply your Bitcoin, then you can use this co-vesting feature over on PrimeXPT. You can also open up an account with my link down below here. And then you can top up a little bit of Bitcoin and follow one of these most profitable traders like this one, for example, that had over 5,000% gains. So even if you put here only a couple of hundreds of dollars worth in Bitcoin, you can easily multiply your portfolio with this. Of course, it is risky and also like that of course you can lose also money but usually if you stick here with the most profitable traders you can do some very nice gains as well so try it out and let me also know in the comment section how it's working out for you for me personally at the moment it's working quite nicely especially here with the top traders sometimes it's a bit difficult to enter into one strategy because the most profitable traders very often are sold out so it's very hard to get here a place in this strategy all right my friends if you like the content don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and please join also our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and if you're interested in my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals then please contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye